Hey folks, Post here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video, and boy, do we have <laughs> some stuff for you guys here. So, uh, as you guys probably already know, um, the data mine did show that uh, we could potentially be getting um, Red, Sabrina, a Cygnus suit, Alyssa, Fantina, and and more stuff coming um, to the game very very soon. Right? We don't have the exact dates at the moment. Uh, I will update you guys when we do actually get the dates, if we ever get them at all, which, again, that's, you know, none, none of this is confirmed, right? But uh, here we go. We got uh, Red's stats and moveset, and um, ladies and gentlemen, here's the uh, here's the new best unit of the game. <laughs> this is the new best unit of the game. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like, this thing... This is the power creep that folks have been, you know, wanting for the last how many, like ever since the game came out, ever since the game came out, um, Olivia has been in this game, Brendan has been in this game, these two have just been the top two throughout the time, you know, sometimes they swap places, sometimes, you know, personal preference, someone would prefer Brendan over Olivia, some people prefer Olivia over Brendan, but usually it's been Brendan, Olivia, Brendan, Olivia, Brendan, Olivia, and the recent Steven, um, uh, you know, Steven, uh, when he recently came out, uh, he's a really, really great contender for, you know, a, a top tier unit as well, but, you know, that was slightly controversial, Steven, right? But Red is, no question, the strongest unit in the game, strongest, at least striker, right? You know, it's not a supporter or whatever not a tech it's a striker this guy is absolutely insane <laughs> so if i were to guess when he comes out i would probably guess sometime or it's probably the sixth month anniversary unit because like look at these unit red sabrina uh singing suit Alyssa, and fantine and not to diss on the other three again sabrina's my favorite video game character of all time <laughs> and not to diss on them but very very likely of these four the one with the pokey fair being red uh, would be the one, you know, in the six-month anniversary, which should be around 28th or so, right? And, uh, well, here we go. Red and Charizard. Let me stop talking up it and actually go through it and show you guys why it's the new best unit in the game. So, Red and Charizard, Fire Striker, Weakness, Rock. There we go. The basis, you know, we, we it, it's a striker, it's a special... Actually, it's actually it's actually weird because Charizard does have Mega Charizard X, right? But you know, as you can see, you know, Mega Charizard X. But before it Megas, it's a special striker, and then after it Megas, it's a physical striker. So it's kind of weird, and that is probably like its only downside, honestly, just because it has a move that's kind of weird um, in terms of how you want to use it uh, pre or post Mega, right? So, anyways, uh, l let's just go over red so hp 660 physical uh physical attack uh 380 right and, and also special attack is is also 380 so apparently they went and and you know balance out both uh reds physical and special attack right and you know that kind of makes sense i guess right um as for this the numbers 380 is i mean it's not you know it's not anything insane but it's definitely you know top tier right um, that's around, that's around Garchomp's level for physical attack and special attack. That's around like Mega Houndoom and Sceptile's level, right? Um, so that's really, really good, obviously. Again, it's, it's not like top, it's, it's not like Metagross, not the strongest in the game, um, uh, in terms of the stats, but it's really, really high. Defense 129, special defense 129, HP 660, uh, I, 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 I guess the HP is, is you know, it, well, I mean, the HP is not really bad. Um, well, the, the HP is actually, the HP is actually really, really good, actually, now that I think about it. But um, the, the defenses are are kind of poor, right? Um, the special defense uh, and, and, and physical defense, I mean, it's, it's not, like, terrible, but it's not, it's kind of, like, slightly below average, I'd say. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not slightly. I'll, I'll just say below average. Below average uh, defense and special defense. As for the speed, 265. 265 speed is not good. <laughs> uh, 265 speed is definitely, you know, um, below average, right? Slightly below average, not too much. But, you know, it does have plus 6 speed, so you don't have to worry too, uh, too much about that. So, going into its moves, your first move is Heat Wave. That's uh, Fire, Special Attack, AoE. Very small chance to burn the target. Um, 109 power, accuracy 90, 3 bars. 
Don't have to worry about the accuracy because it has a passive that, you know, makes it moves and never miss, which is really, really nice. <laughs> so, you got Heat Wave, that's an AoE special attack. Um, and then you got Dire Hit Plus, so you're guaranteed to get your 100% uh, crit with that, right? Because, well, two Dire Hits, that will get you plus four, but you only go up to three <laughs> special attacks. So you will crit every single time. And crit is the strongest stat in this game. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, move number three, Blast Burn, um, Fire, Special Attack, and uh, we don't have the exact details for Blast Burn, but th this, is, this is my speculation for this move, right, um, in, in terms of, of, of what it's going to do, because Blast Burn is basically the Fire-type version of Hyper Beam, right, in the main series, so I would assume it would be something similar to Hyper Beam, so this is like Hyper Beam stats, 223 power, 90% uh, accuracy, 4 bars. Again, actually, it doesn't matter since, you know, it does have piercing gaze. Um, as for the power, you know, I, I I think Blast Burn might be slightly weaker than Hyper Beam in terms of power just because Hyper Beam doesn't have any, like, additional uh, effects to it. And then Blast Burn does have a, like, small chance to burn. Or, I, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's a small chance, but, you know, it should probably have a chance to burn, right? So it might be, like, slightly lower. It might be, like, 210 or something, which is still really, really good. That's more than a sync move, right? Um, it's, it's, you know, Mega Evolutions, it's sync move, 160 power, right? Not, not too much. Um, and then four bars. So this is going to be an absolute, like, huge, huge, huge hit uh, once it hits. And... And, 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 and also, you do have, like, unlike Dragonite, because Dragonite's, you know, one, one of Dragonite's biggest issues with Hyper Beam is that 90% accuracy. But with, with Red, you do have Piercing Gaze so that it never misses. So this is just a huge, huge hit. And in comparison to Dragonite, in comparison to Dragonite, Dragonite doesn't have any stat boosts. And Dragonite's still really, really good. Dragonite doesn't have any stat, stat boost. Red has Dire Hit Plus and the next move, which gains plus three special attack and plus three speed, minus one defense, minus one special defense. You know, it, it's a cost I'm willing to pay, honestly. And then um, it's also plus three attack if it's Mega, right? Because Mega, you do gain a physical move, right? Um, so there's that as well. But uh, yeah, this is... a. Uh, Okay, we, we haven't even, like, gotten to the broken parts, and this is already really, really good. <laughs> so, a uh, sync move called Living Legend Blast Burn. Um, bit of a living legend, right? Uh, also, grit uh, gives one crit after you use it. And power not 100% sure, but, you know, it should be around 160. All the um, Mega Evolutions, their sync move power is 160. So, uh, moving on after Megas. So, actually, before we talk about the Mega stuff, let's talk about the passive. Passives got Piercing Gaze, as I've said before. Uh, you have Propulsion, which is a Propulsion 1, which is a 10% chance of reducing sync move countdown by 1 when, atta when attacking su successfully. What? That's insane! That's insane! Like, very, very likely, you know, going around the rates, right? You know, you nine no, nine turns countdown for a sync move, 10%. At least one of your attacks will reduce the sync move countdown. So that will just make you sync, like, one turn quicker, which is great. <laughs> which is great, right? And obviously, you want to sync really, really quick because if you look at your moves and stats... Um, your sync move, which gives you one crit, and then your stats, which we'll go over in a second. You know, huge, huge boost in stats. This is insane. This is actually insane. And biggest uh, issue with red, move gauge, right? Uh, blast burn, four, four gauges, right? Blast burn costs a lot. You do have plus three speed on my destiny, which you could turn it into plus six, right? You could use that twice. But still, four gauges, relatively expensive. Look at this, the second passive. Um, move gauge regen 4. 40% chance of refreshing one gauge bar when an attack is successful. Wow. So, very, very likely, every other hit you'll get an extra gauge back. So that would just make, you know, you know, 40% of the time, your blast burn will just be a 3 gauge move, basically. Basically, your blast burn is a 3 gauge move. And... For any, you know, for most sync pairs that have plus six speed, even though, you know, you, 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 Charizard's speed is average, right? Um, plus six speed, they don't generally have too much problems 
throwing out their uh, three gauge moves, right? So, wow. This is just insane. So, after it megas, it gets even better, obviously. So, look at its HP, uh, or actually, no, no, not HP. HP is the same, right? Um, physical, 456 physical attack, 456 special attack, uh, 129 defense, 129 uh, special defense, and then um, 318 uh, uh, speed. That... Wow, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Like, what? Why is this guy so insane? I mean, well, I know why because, you know, it's red. Everyone loves red. Red's great, right? But, geez, four hundred fifty-six. Let me check real quick. Four hundred fifty-six special attack ties Mega Pidgeot with the highest special attack in the game. Four hundred fifty-six is only four points off of Steven and Mega Metagross, the highest physical attacker in the game, and way higher than the second place. What? <laughs> Why? Why? What? Wow. Wow. I mean, yeah, <laughs> this is this is insane. Um, the whole like the whole kit just works together so well, like nothing is left behind you got your stat boosts you know your offensive stat boosts right uh special attack plus six uh physical attack plus six well you can only choose one of them right and then you got max crit plus six speed an insanely high damaging you know um move in flare blitz the some of the highest stats in the game and even a way to make you mega quicker, which no unit in the game has ever had this mechanic before. By the way, which by the way, you know, two of the new, uh, two more of the new characters actually do have this mechanic as well, which is really really good. And their supports. We'll get into those. And do remember to subscribe if you if you guys want all the details, which hopefully will be coming up soon. Um, I, I, I'm trying to do these videos as quick as I can, right? Get them up uh, so you guys can get the info. But you guys have to subscribe, subscribe to get all that info. It's those two. Oh, those two are insane. Sabrina and, and Alyssa, right? Um, but yeah, here you go. Oh, also, one one last thing I forgot to mention. Um, after you turn into Mega Charizard X, your Dire Hit Plus becomes Flare Blitz, which is really, really good. Since, like, I mean, you're definitely going to use Dire Hit before you Mega anyways. At least once, right? Because, you know, after you use one Dire Hit Plus, if you, you know, just come out, Dire Hit Plus, and then Mega... You know, Meg gives you one more um, dire hit, or not one more dire hit, one more crit anyway. So you'll get max crit even if you only use dire hit once. So you really don't need dire hit uh, around, right? So you get flare blitz instead of a dire hit, and you still keep blast burn. So even if you do uh, up your special attack before you mega, um, y y y you know, it, it doesn't become waste a after you mega because you still have heat wave, you still have blast burn. And then you now have Flare Blitz. So you have more options. So if you're facing something that's you know has really, really high special defense but you know is physical weak, then you could go the route of, you know, getting Mega Charizard out there with um with Flare Blitz instead. Obviously Flare Blitz, you know. I mean, Flare Blitz hits hard. It's it's just a recoil it kinda sucks. Uh but hey, um there aren't really that many strong physical fire type moves. So what can we do? <laughs> but anyways, all oh, that's basically it. Um, Mega Charizard X and uh, Red, very, very good, very, very deserving of of their their title as you know the the, the best. It, it just is the best record in the game. Like, I I I love Olivia, but um, no, <laughs> this is this is just better than Olivia. Unfortunately, um, it just does more damage than Olivia. Obviously, th that doesn't make Olivia obsolete. I, I see a lot of people go around saying Olivia's obsolete. No, Olivia is still very, very useful, right? It's extremely strong. It's um super effective. It, it, it's rock type. Like, they're different types f just from that, right? <laughs> um, straight off the bat, you know, there, there's that. But anyways, um, I, this is definitely the strongest unit in the game. I don't even think it's hard to debate, Um, but here's the power creep. Here's the power creep. Get your gems ready. Even if you don't like red, you you need this guy. This guy is so good. And besides, it's a Poké Fair banner, you know. Plus, it's it's you know extra three percent chance for getting five stars anyways. Even if you don't want red, 
you know, the other non-poke fair five stars, you can still get a decent chance of getting. But anyways, uh, again, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, like if you enjoyed this video, if you're excited for Red, subscribe to my channel for some more Poem Masters content. And, oh boy, there's a lot of more Poem Masters content coming. We got Sabrina coming up, um, Cygnus and Alyssa, uh, Fantina, and Sylveon, all, all their stats and movesets and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in a bit.